host, Cindy Matsuki, and this is the place where we talk about all things tech, innovation, entrepreneurship, and manufacturing. And my guest today, my awesome guests, are Wayne Noy, Center Director, and Sandy Park, Special Program Specialist for Innovate Hawaii, and this is a program within HTBC. So thanks for being here. Hi. Thanks for having <laughs> us. And we're going to talk about all those things, tech, innovation, entrepreneurship, and manufacturing. So. You guys have a big conference coming up in a couple of weeks this month, the Advanced Manufacturing and the Biennial SBIR STTR conference on October 20th through the 23rd at the Sheraton. And so both are very aligned with what Innovate Hawaii does, right? Help people make stuff and get funded. <laughs> and so this is the first Advanced Manufacturing conference of its kind, right, in Hawaii. So what is, what is Advanced Manufacturing? What does that mean? So again, um, advanced manufacturing is um, a cluster of new technologies. Um, for example, automation using computer software, using mm. sensoring. So it's a it's a combination of those new technologies to make next generation products for technology. So again, it's 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 using new equipment. Example, additive manufacturing, which is like three D printing, mm -hmm. um, but it's also using the process. So again, using software and sensoring to create um, the next generation products. Um, you know, again, it's it's something that is is um, pretty new to mm -hmm. to Hawaii, mm -hmm. and that's why um, we thought that this year would be a great time um, in combination with the SBR conference to put this on. Oh, good. And so this conference is for anybody that's making things. Um, yeah, if you're an engineer, an entrepreneur, and you're interested in making the next generation of products using some cool tools, um, new technologies, it's mm -hmm. a great way to learn um, what's out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think mm -hmm. we are kind of sheltered here with some of the new advanced type of uh, manufacturing technology, so it's a good time to, to learn what's out there and, and see how some mm -hmm. of our great companies can use that technology here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So if people come to this conference, can they expect to see some of these things? or what, what can they expect when they come? Some of the companies that are coming are mainland experts in advanced manufacturing. So companies like Siemens, Boeing, Rockwell Automation, Stratasys. So those experts will be giving our local businesses tools and the knowledge to increase their productivity, increase their efficiency, and eventually getting their products to market and making revenue. Very good. That is excellent. That's what we need. So, so there's a lot of big names coming to Hawaii. How can companies best take advantage of this when they do come? We are actually offering the, com um, the attendees the ability to meet one-on-one -on -one with these speakers, all of the speakers, including the manufacturing and the SBR side. Mm -hmm. So all they need to do is submit a short abstract on description of their company, and we will reserve a time for them. Mm -hmm. How long? How long do they get? They to have FaceTime? about fifteen minutes FaceTime with these guys, and you know it's a great way to get a quick overview. They can introduce themselves and kind of give a uh, explanation of what they're doing and listen to what those presenters have to say, and maybe giving them some very quick advice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what are the companies that are coming? What are they looking for? What do they they want to get out of this conference? Well, I think what they're looking for is they're looking for ways for partnership and possibly to share some of their technologies with mm -hmm. some of the bigger companies. Um, you know, again, it's, it's a great way um, through the one-on-ones to really showcase some of the new technologies because we have a lot of great companies here mm -hmm. in Hawaii. And uh, this is a great opportunity, again, to showcase some of these great technologies to some of the bigger corporations like the, the Boeings, the Rockwells, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. of the Siemens. And we also have um, Oak Ridge National Lab coming to talk about some of their things they're doing on the federal front. So great opportunity. Wow, that's interesting. And are they interested, like, is there a possibility that they would either license some people's technology or? You never know. I mean, I think uh, they're always looking for new great things to innovate and mm -hmm, to commercialize. Mm -hmm. So again, we have a lot of great stuff here in Hawaii. Very good, that is very good. And then the other half of the conference is the 14th Biennial SBIR and STAT, STTR conference. And this is the funding part where yes. you figure out how to get money. Yes. Um, and so the federal, SBIR topic managers are going to be there, some yes. of them. Which, which agencies are going to come? Um, the Small Business Innovation Research Grant Program um, are bringing the managers here, and they are with the Department of Homeland Security, mm -hmm. Department of Energy, National Institute of Health, National Science Foundation, USDA, NOAA, 
and Air Force, as well as um, we are bringing commercialization experts like Don Breaker and TechLink, and also beyond SBIR funding with mm -hmm. Panasonic Ventures and Samsung wow. Global. Oh, well, that's great. That is excellent. Um, so for those of us that don't know out there, what is, what is the SBIR program, STTR? SBIR is a federal fund that encourages and nurtures research and development and innovation in the private sector. So every federal agency has the fund to provide seed money in phase one, mm -hmm. and then it goes on to phase two, which is proof of concept, and eventually phase three for commercialization and getting the product to market. So for the for HTC and Innovate Hawaii, we administer a matching grant program. So if you have won a phase one, and very soon a phase two, HTC may be able to give you 50% matching for your proje project. That is amazing. And how do you, so you have to win one first though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. So what kind of companies should come to the SBIR side of the conference? If you have a product or a service that um, you are doing research and development on, a mm -hmm. new innovation, a new way of doing something, or creating a product or a device that you think might be able to satisfy the small business innovation research qualifications, you should come. What are the and some of the qualifications are um, usually the SBIR federal programs will request proposals. So you need to be able to uh, navigate the SBIR websites and look mm -hmm. for those proposals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, for me, I find the most easiest place to look for, the, uh, it's, like a, it's like a gateway to the SBIR community, mm -hmm. is a website called zyn.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Z-Y-N.com, and that's where you'll see all the proposals posted. Wow, for all the agencies? All of the agencies. How do you how do you navigate? Is it by you can put keywords or you can put keywords or yeah they actually have a link to the open proposals. Uh, yes. And then how does that work? Like you, so I have a widget, mm -hmm. and how do I find out who wants to fund my widget? Like I need to get it ready to market. If you are looking to actually do an SBIR proposal, mm -hmm. you will actually need to research and look at the different agencies. So for example, if you have um, some kind of a device that can locate a radio signal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. say it's a bomb signal, I would suggest you look at the Department of Defense website. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or if you have a better way of packaging or uh, growing um, some kind of a Veg veg vegetable or um, seedlings than USDA. Mm -hmm. But there are times when a project can cross all of these agencies. Mm. So like if, you're, a if you're a department, if you think it's a, the Department of Defense is only looking for things for the warfighter, it mm -hmm. can also be looking for things in energy, mm -hmm. medical, um, you know, anything that will help the, the, to protect the warfighter. Mm. So it's not just weapons mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, detection, mm -hmm. it's also for safety, energy, medical, and you know, it, it can run the gamut. So you should always check the Department yes. of Defense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, interesting, very interesting. Um, what should people do to prepare for the SBIR event? Well, basically look at the website. Mm -hmm. Look at the SBIR website, get a better feel of the program itself because it is a very um, complicated process. Mm -hmm. To apply. But the f if you should win the funding, it's pretty much, um, you know, really will kickstart your, your product. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it is free. And free free money. money. Free money. <laughs> <laughs> free money. You don't have to pay it back. So it's a great way That's to get amazing. your innovation started. And then come to HTDC and we can give you a prop up to 50% more of that phase one. That is excellent. That's an excellent program. Um, so are both of these conferences recommended for university people too? Oh, yes. Professors? Students? Professors as well. 
yes, because that's where innovation happens. Mm -hmm. It's at the universities with the professors and with their students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. What are the rates? Do you have any specials? Yeah, so we would like to <laughs> offer um, uh, the viewers of your show to email yeah, sbir at hcdc.org and um, just mention that they saw us on, on your show and we can offer them a special rate. All right. <laughs> just for your viewers. Think Tech Special. Yes. All right, very good. And they can attend all four days? Or yes. two, three. Two, two or four days. days. Two or four days. Okay, great. Sounds and the good. benefit is that they will be able to meet with the speakers mm -hmm. in one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. And some of the, the expertise that are coming, mm -hmm. you can only find them on the mainland. And here mm -hmm. in Hawaii, because we are, as Wayne said, isolated, mm -hmm. to be able to have the opportunity to meet with these international and national experts, to me, that's priceless. Definitely. So, you know, take, make sure you, you know, take the opportunity and join us on those four days. Yeah, otherwise you'd have to be flying yeah, somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And so for the commercialization partners in the SBIR, how does that work? Like, like Panasonic, are they just coming to look for new things that they can add to their yes. line of products? So both Panasonic and Samsung are looking for new technologies that they can either license mm -hmm. or partner or develop within their corporations. So it runs the gamut from energy through healthcare. Wow. And sensors, robotics, automotive, um, it just, it's, it's endless because they are very innovative. So they can provide not just the, their expertise, but, mm -hmm. also, but also funding. That is great. That's, this is such a huge opportunity. Yes. I think everybody Definitely. should take advantage of it. Very exciting. And it's coming up soon. Very soon. <laughs> very soon. <laughs> Where can we find more information? You can go to the website, hgdc.org slash sbir2015. <laughs> and register soon, right? Yes. Very soon. Very good. And if you mention the show, that you saw the show, you'll get a special deal. So email us at sbir at hgdc.org. Yes. All right. Looking very forward good. to seeing everybody. Uh, very good. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. And we will... Definitely, I will announce this again, and we're looking forward to the conference. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. So my guests today have been Wayne Inouye, Center Director, and Sandy Park, Special Program Specialist <laughs> <laughs> from Innovate Hawaii within HTDC. This is High Growth with HTDC, and I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki, and we'll be right back. Aloha. <laughs> yeah. This is Red That's Baker, so weird. and I am the host of here. Business in Here's Hawaii. Like we talk about positive stories, positive stories of businesses in Hawaii, how they have been successful, and how they have overcome some of the obstacles that a lot of us encounter when we try to have a business here. And believe it or not, there are a number of positive stories here, and we want to talk to all of you. So we broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock, uh, and it rebroadcasts again on Olelo Channel 54. So I sure hope to see you next time. Please tune in on Thursdays at 2 o'clock. Thank you. Aloha, this is Alice Lee Hagen from ThinkTech Hawaii Business Education Spotlight. My show is a bi-weekly show on Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. We invite interesting people, entrepreneurs, fascinating leaders who contribute to the social economic well-being of our state. Please tune in to my show, Business Education Spotlight, ThinkTech Hawaii, bi-weekly, Thursday, 3 to 4 p.m. Aloha. Aloha, my name is Roy Kodani, and every Wednesday at 1 p.m., I host Life in the Law, which is a segment of Think Tech Hawaii. And uh, basically, I host guests who have some relevancy to law in Hawaii. And uh, I hope you will continue to tune in if you have questions, tweet us at Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Hi, my name is Hilary Weinberg. I'm the host of The Whole Gamut on Think Tech Hawaii. See us live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. or on our YouTube channel to hear us talk about world affairs from Hawaii and beyond. See you then. Hi, aloha. My name is Chris Leatham, and I have a host a show called The Economy and You. 
Uh, the show plays every Wednesday at noon. And on my show, I bring on guests who are interested or working in the technology space. And uh, so I'd like you to come and watch the show and learn with me about all the sort of exciting things that we're doing in Hawaii to build and grow our economy ecosystem. So I'd like to say aloha, and I look forward to seeing you on the show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jay Fidel. That's Ted Ralston. You know, Ted is the uh, host of uh, Where the Road Leads. It shows uh, every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. It's about technology. It's about how people collaborate and, and solve problems with modern technology. It's where the road leads. We all know that. We should all be listening. Join us there, 4 to 5 p.m. every Friday. Now, what about that do you agree with? All of it. I knew he'd say that. Aloha. Say aloha. Aloha. Good. Aloha. I'm Kirsten Baumgart-Turner, and I host Sustainable Hawaii every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. My guests offer insights on challenging economic and environmental issues facing our state and offer innovative solutions to increasing Hawaii's long-term sustainability. Recently, we've been focusing on sustainable land development, food, and energy security. If you have a project or issue you'd like to discuss on the show or would like to be a guest, please contact me at kirstenbturner at gmail.com and tune in live weekly or view the show at your convenience at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo. Aloha. My name is Josh Green. I'm a senator from the Big Island in the ER position. Every other Tuesday, I get to host a show here on the Think Tech program about healthcare. We call it Healthcare in Hawaii. It's really enjoyable for me to bring other healthcare leaders from around the state to talk about our pressing issues. Hawaii has long been the health state, but we need to keep up the momentum, the inertia, and with your help and with your participation, we can come and share all of the big issues that are pressing day to day. Thanks for joining us every Tuesday, alternating weeks from 2 to 2.45. Aloha! How you doing? It's me, Angus McTech. Wishing you to welcome and join us to see us on Hibachi Talk on Think Tech Hawaii. Join my co-hosts, Gordo the Tech Czar and Andrew the Security Guy, every Friday from 1300 to 1345. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk tech and we'll have some wee bit of fun. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha! How's it? I'm Damon. I'm Joe. And we're the Lola Brothers. We are the Lola Brothers. We are the Lola Brothers. Hey, join us each week where we'll have wacky animations and adventures, and you'll get to hang out with one of our amazing friends. We'll talk about music and what Life else? in general. Life in general, all right. Current events. Current events. Technology. You can tweet us at ThinkTechHI. Tweet us. We enjoy and, it. And uh, every Thursday is at 5 o'clock. Thursday. Join us. 5. Hi, welcome back to High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki, and I'm going to... Give us a rundown on what's going on this month. There's a lot going on. Tomorrow, October 7th, Blue Startups will be hosting their open house to introduce 10 companies in Cohort 6, and it includes one of our awesome MIC tenants, Nest Egg Guru. It's a great opportunity to talk story and network with founders and mentors. They'll have free drinks and munchies at their headquarters tomorrow from 5 to 7, so check that out. October 20th through the 23rd, HTDC is hosting two conferences presented back to back about making stuff and getting funded. This is just the topic that we covered right before the break. For registration and for more information, please visit htdc.org slash SBIR 2015. And if you mention this show, you can get a special price. Email us at sbir at htdc.org. Following closely on the heels of that event, starting October 23rd to the 25th, Dev League and Uber are pleased to announce an exciting new hackathon that will contribute to the growth and exposure of the technical ecosystem here in Hawaii. They will be attempting to have a statewide hackathon. So exciting. And they will be our guests shortly after this. So we'll hear more about that. I wanted to let you know that HTDC offers sponsorship opportunities for events that align with our mission of growing the tech and entrepreneurship ecosystem. If you are putting together an event that builds upon innovation, startups, tech, and more, please visit our site at htdc.org for sponsorship information and application. Don't forget, if you need some small business legal advice, every other Wednesday, HTDC offers free legal guidance in partnership with the Business Law Corps. You can sign up for a 30-minute appointment at the Manoa Innovation Center. Please visit htdc.org slash legal to sign up. Lastly, calling all SBIR Phase 1, 2, and 3 winners. HTDC offers the state 
matching fund for up to 50% of your SBIR award. So if that's you, please contact us at SBIR at HTDC.org. Phew, all right. <laughs> so my guests today are Russell Cheng, co-founder of Dev League, and Brian Hughes, general manager of Uber. Very exciting, and they're here to tell us more about their upcoming hackathon. Thanks, thank for, you, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having us here. <laughs> I'm so excited that it's statewide, because as a statewide agency, it's nice to be able to reach out to all the islands. So I am excited about this. So can you tell us how this kind of came about, how this hackathon came about, and what it entails? Um, so maybe I'll, I'll start there, then, Brian. Um, Sounds great. You know, Cindy, what happened was um, we received an email out of the, really out of the blue from Uber and HQ oh. so in San Francisco. Oh, nice. Um, sent it to us and asked us if we would consider um, having a hackathon and, of course, putting some of the curriculum into our Dev League boot camp. Mm -hmm. And so Dev League is well-versed in hackathons. In fact, we, we, we are pretty well versed in the hackathons. Our um, students have, have participated in Startup Weekend uh, several times. In fact, they've been on the winning panels. They've been on the winning teams for that. In fact, for the last um, two Startup Weekends, I think first, second, and third place, they've wow. participated in it. That's um, great. And also in the at t Hackathon as well, too. Mm -hmm. But we've been on the participating end of it as opposed to the organizing <laughs> end of it with, with Uber. So this is new. <laughs> this is really new, yeah. So what, what does the Uber Hackathon entail? Yeah, so uh, this is all part of our developer outreach program uh, where we're constantly looking for talent, looking for new ideas, mm -hmm. and looking also for ways to give back in the cities and, and islands that we, uh, we operate in. And so mm -hmm. this was just a unique opportunity to promote our API mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, to kind of strengthen our relationship with Dev League. And I, I should note that we actually already have a pretty strong relationship with Dev League because oh, uh, we've actually hired one of their graduates nice. uh, who's a great performer in our team. And, we think it's really central to building the tech ecosystem here mm -hmm, in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Are you guys always constantly looking for developers? Is that yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that's the theme <laughs> ac across the, the economy right now that's is, uh, you know, there's a lot of talent constraints and you know, these 21st century skill sets uh, are, are difficult to find. Right. That's true. Huh. Um, so you've mentioned that you, Uber does outreach and does these hackathon, hackathons all over the place. Um, can you tell me some successes that have come out of these hackathons? And what happens, you know, after after the event? Sure, I, I think half the success is just having the interaction uh, with all these different minds, learning uh, how they can apply different languages together. Uh, and they've done some pretty neat things with our API, too. And so, uh, for those who don't know, an API is basically, if you think about like a physical port on your computer where you can plug anything into like mm -hmm. a USB port, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's sort of like that for software. Uh, so you can plug anything into the existing program. Um, it, was that a decent uh, attempt at, at explaining <laughs> yeah, it in, in I, my I, business you, language? You want to edit <laughs> that one? Fine. Yeah, I, I describe it as almost as, as an API as an application protocol interface, and essentially um, it's middleware between. <laughs> so it's it's A to B to C, right? It, it's telling a, telling a machine to do something, writing some software between the other machine to communicate. And that's what coding is about, telling machines what to do, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're telling one machine to do something else with a very little human interaction and, and hands it off in a way that the machines understand and s smoothly interact with each other. That's what the APIs are about. And, and so the people at the hackathons are able to take that API and create new products that integrate Uber. For right. instance, uh, there, there was a product where you can hit a button and it will take you to a random, highly rated uh, bar in the city. And so you actually, <laughs> if you can't decide what to do with your friends, uh, this program would decide for you. And the little fun things like that uh, are kind of the beginning of hopefully future companies and future uh, larger initiatives as well. That's awesome. And does it get integrated into Uber, the platform, or is it like a separate type of thing? Uh, that's really either up, way. Well, <laughs> ideally, it would be, but I mean, I really, yeah. that's really up to Uber if, if, if you know, they want to do that. Um, I think my, my understanding of it is that there would be opportunities for people to use the API, and so if they wanted to create um, new startups or they wanted to, to uh, you know, for instance, let's say if it's a, you know, if they wanted to basically create something new, they could some new functionality. Obviously, it's with Uber's back end huh. infrastructure, right? Uh, some transportation is going to happen between here and there. Some logistics is going to happen between here and there. I mean. I, to me, I think of an example where, you know, you wanted to have. I, I, my personal favorite is I. Don't, I want a Christmas tree delivered to me during Christmas time. <laughs> I don't want to have um, the needles in my car. And at one year, I actually rented a car to go get it so that I could bring it back without <laughs> having needles in my car. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. 
But, you know, I, I would love to have be able to press a button and have a tree go picked up for me. But now, I don't know if that'll be one of the ideas that comes up. Um, oh, I like that. You hear that, everybody? <laughs> tree you know, delivery. That's right. It's about yeah. the right timing. Too. Yeah. 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 Well, the idea <laughs> is basically create a new opportunity, right? And, and that opportunity might lead you to starting up of something new or creating some new functionality um, for an existing company as well, too. Okay, sorry. I don't, I'm, I'm still not clear on this. So if you do create, like, so say the tree delivery app, is that like a standalone app, or does it say Uber tree delivery? Uh, so, so yeah, the, we've actually, so we have done tree delivery, actually. Oh, uh, really? The, the Christmas, Christmas tree one? Yeah, there so you go. So I want that. <laughs> we'll see what happens in Hawaii this year uh, as the uh, holidays approach. That's so uh, cool. But there's, there's all different ways you can, you can use the API where it could literally be integrated into just a website, uh, a, a mobile web app, or a standalone app. And I think that's the exciting part is like during these hackathons, there's rapid iteration. I like bring innovation to the islands, and, and then we can kind of see where it takes us. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's hard to say what will come out of this. Yeah, one. it's really hard yeah. to say what will come so out of it. Cool. Did the tree one come out of a hackathon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think know. that was an internal one. <laughs> uh, I'll have to dig <laughs> into the history of that one. Though. Look, I mean, here's how it could even benefit HTDC, right? I mean, when you have guests coming from out of town, mm. right? You can say instead of calling a taxi, you can say we're going to bring our HTDC cab around, you know, our car <laughs> around, and, mm -hmm. and and you press a button, it's through your app, and and Uber comes and picks 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 up your, your guests, right? Takes mm -hmm. them back to the airport, takes them back to the hotel or, or what have you, right? And it's right on your site. It's right on your, it's right on your Very phone. Very good. So we should sponsor some teams to work on our projects. You, know? <laughs> you never know when it might start. <laughs> and I was going to ask, so I'm so excited that this is a statewide effort. That is very exciting because I don't think I've heard of a statewide hackathon happening yet. So how is that going to happen? So um, <laughs> one of the things that I mean, when Uber first approached us, I think it was really you know, to work with Dev League, you know, the software boot, boot camp, right, that we are. Um, we said, this is interesting, but what happens if we actually scale this up a little bit more? Because, you know, good ideas come from anywhere, and mm -hmm. we've never had a, a statewide hackathon mm -hmm. before. We've always had hackathons exactly. that are in one particular, you know, in Honolulu or maybe in Maui. Mm -hmm. um, so what we, did, we said was, well, what if we put it on Maui, the Big Island, and Kauai, mm -hmm. and we found some, um, some local t uh, entrepreneur friends that are there, um, some developers there, and they said they would, they would help work with us to pull it off. So we'll have it on the four major islands. Um, we, we will be working with um, Maui Economic Development Board, mm -hmm. Maui uh, Research Technology Corporation, I want to get that one right, um, Ukulele Underground on Maui, and Startup Suite um, 8, which is really Nalukai Foundation on the Big Island. So Bubs, oh. is, Bubs is organization. Oh, nice. So our friends, you know, Ryan, Ryan um, Esaki and, and mm -hmm. Bubs have agreed to help. And on Maui, we have some other people that are helping us as well there too. Um, but really, we're working with um, a, a software platform called, a learning platform, a streaming learning platform called um, LiveCoding.tv, which will enable us to um, show live code on a, on a screen so that everyone can see it hmm. at this in real time. So the idea behind all of this would be, what if you're on Kauai, mm -hmm. you come up with an idea, mm -hmm. but there's a designer on Maui, mm -hmm. and then there's a developer who says, I want to work on that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be pretty cool yeah. if you had collaboration amongst the islands or, you know, individuals on different geography, you know, really different mm -hmm. islands collaborating mm -hmm. together, all building something, for, you know, with the Uber API. So that happens all over this platform, like between the different islands? Well, it, the live coding communicating. Live coding TV will help facilitate that. Obviously, we have other tools within DevLe that we use to collaborate, you know, GitHub, uh, but what happened, and, and other, you know, people who can still use Google Hangouts and, and however else they want to collaborate. But the mm -hmm. idea is to work together, bring out the communities, bring people together, mm -hmm. and from different islands, mm -hmm. and working with world class, a world class brand like Uber, but also world class, you know, engineers mm -hmm. that are coming out from San Francisco out to, to Honolulu, you know, and really to, to be at our, to help oh, us. Who's coming out? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, so we, we have a few uh, developers. Uh, yeah, right now I'm, I'm scratching my head thinking of the names. And my partner Jason who always takes care. Of, you know, has been taking care of it. Um, I believe the guy's name was Alex, and I, I want to say Mike. These are Uber <laughs> developers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, and so we basically have a team uh, focused on developer outreach, and and so hmm. they, they will go around from city to city, uh, or in this case from island to island, uh, awesome. to, to kind of bring that skill set to the to the cities and, and locations where we operate. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're we're pretty excited to get that talent out here uh, from, to join our larger full-time From, from the, the comments I had from Nathan from, from Uber, um, he said that I think they were on for dozens of, of, of hackathons that they had done on a global basis. And so mm. they're, they're actually bringing some of their expertise here with, with you know, to the um, October 23rd to 25th um, session here. Oh, good. So it's, I'm really, we're really excited about that. I mean, world-class talent coming yeah. in to help us. 
So they're going to be kind of mentors and coaches for the, the whole event? Well, so they'll be, they'll be partnering up with some of the Dev League mentors and instru instructors, and then we'll be mm -hmm, bringing out mm -hmm. some of our students. But of course, this is open to the public, right? I mean, it's, anyone is welcome to come. It's free to the public. Um, and, and we're giving out free prizes as well, too, up to $10,000 worth of prizes, including something from Uber as well. That's right. That's right. Ooh Can you tell us what that is? Is it a secret? So there's a little <laughs> more uh, more to come out. We have to kind of get people excited uh, right, to right. come down there. And uh, So if you come down, that's what you can really figure out what exactly those prizes are. We, we hope to see you put your own app well, there, too. There is, there, is, there is something that was announced by Uber, though, and, and we, we know from Deb League as well, too. I mean, some of the, the top ones really is, um, the winning teams, one That's of them right. will be picked and, and will go to um, Uber's headquarter and they get a, you know, a, a, a real, uh, they can spend some time with some engineers oh, nice. there. Um, and if they're looking for a role there, they may have, they might be on an interview loop. That's really yeah. up to them and up to Uber. Okay. Um, nice. But for, for the Devly side of it, we at the very least, you know, we we're giving a scholarship as well too to our software development bootcamp. <gasps> so that's worth, a, that's, that's worth several thousand dollars right there. Yeah, that's amazing. We are going to take a quick break. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is I Grow Through with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. My guests today are Russell Cheng, co-founder co of Dev League, and Brian Hughes, general manager of Uber. And we are on Think Tech Hawaii. We'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Chi exciting. Lee, Chino, are we off resident the of the Grassroot Institute and host on Ehana Kako, a weekly program on the Think Tech Hawaii broadcast network. Ehana Kako means let's work together. Think of the sad alternative, let's not work together. Here in Hawaii, with all of our diversity and the richness of the people, it's important for us to come together around issues on the, the basis of what's right, and what's good, and what's going to serve the common good. And that's what we try to do at Ehana Kako. Every week, we interview movers and shakers, people in government, business, and other sectors of society to talk about how to create together a better government, economy, a better world here in Hawaii that can bless the rest of the world. I thank you for your attention to Think Tech Hawaii, and we look forward to seeing you every Monday, 2 to 3 p.m., on the Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. We're Ehana Kako, and we wish you well. Aloha. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. This is High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. Today we are talking about the Dev League Uber Hackathon, which is coming up very soon, end of the month. And my guests today are Russell Cheng, co-founder of Dev League, and Brian Hughes, general manager of Uber. And we were talking about this hackathon, and it's going to be statewide. And so how does that work for the neighbor islands? Like, are people going to get together in different places? Yes, the people, the, the, some of the participants will get together. I mean, we're actively encouraging them to go to, you know, so the one, the, uh, the location on Oahu will be on, at the Box Jelly, mm -hmm. so on Kamani Street, so a lot of people know where that is here. Mm -hmm. uh, this will also be held in Maui at the Maui Economic Development um, Board, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Maui Research Technology Corporation. Center? So that would be in what, <laughs> in Kihei, in the Technology Kihei. Park, right? I think that's your sister mm -hmm. kind of companies there. Uh, on the Big Island, it'll be at, at, in Camuela, so at Bub's, um, Darius Monsef, the fourth place, Bub's. Uh, it'll be at his place in, um, called Startup Suite 8. Oh, cool. And on, on Kauai, it'll be at Gro the Grove Shopping Center. Uh, yeah, Grove, oh, I want to say it was... Kukui Grove? Oh, I, you know, I wrote it down, I wrote it down. <laughs> I, I better just get this right. Anchor Cove Shopping Anchor Center. Cove. Anchor Cove Shopping Center in Lehue. <laughs> you know, and then really thanks to Bubs and thanks to um, Ryan uh, Isaki there for really helping us on the on the neighbor islands and of course Maui as well too. Is it possible for somebody to just pr um, participate from home? Like, could you it, just jump in? And you know, I mean, really, I, I'm. Yes and no. No. Well, let me put it this way. No, maybe. <laughs> the idea is to really bring out the developer and bring community people out, to bring people together. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's probably the most driving aspect of this. I mean, you know, even even in a car, right? I mean, it's to bring people out. It's just the sharing economy in that sense, right? Mm -hmm. We bring, want to bring people out, mm -hmm. bring people together, have them open up and, and really share some of their ideas and it can ideas will come from anywhere and more importantly people will have this the developers will have an opportunity to really show showcase some of their skills and some mm -hmm. of their talent really with world-class engineers from uber and some of the you know of course all the instructors and the mentors are coming out from 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 dev league it's an opportunity to really rub shoulders with with people that can actually build stuff make stuff and create stuff mm -hmm. yeah i think i think some of the best value that people will capture from attending this event will be those personal interactions and just learning different yeah. ways of thinking uh about solving real world problems uh, mm -hmm. so that, having that that matching of talent uh, i think is probably one of the most critical parts of the yeah, event. yeah i, I f mm -hmm. we fully believe we fully believe that as well i mean the collaboration that's that's will come out i think is is tremendous out of this 
And it'll be cool to see just people come out of the woodwork and see, you know, where are the devs? Like, who are they? Yeah. Like, it, we don't always get it's true. visibility. You know, and it, it, you can, you, it's the stereotypical dev developers are in the, in the basement and everything, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. and it is not that the case at all. In fact, you know, in, in, you, um, come October 23rd or October 25th, right, we'll, we'll see who all the developers are, and, and they're going to look just like everyone else and interacting mm -hmm. with all of us as well, too. And they're probably going to be building some pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who, who is this for? Is it just for software developers? You know, no, the, the hackathon is geared for anybody with an idea to come out to interact with software developers and designers and really mm -hmm. collaborate. I think if you have the hustler hacker designer triangle, um, that's when you really start can you can really start to build some things. But I also think it's very much for for um, corporate companies as well too. I mean, who's to say that a that a hospital or, or you know wouldn't use a, use create a, come up with an an app to um, have some of their patients picked up and driven back and forth if they can't oh, have. If they can't have, uh, you know, they can't drive home by themselves after their, you know, their operation or their procedure, right? Um, who's to say that you wouldn't mm. want to have some delivery from one company to another company, delivering some food or delivering some items somewhere um, that, you know, might require a car and a driver, <laughs> mm. right? Can you give us a quick, like, rundown? Like, how does the hackathon work from Friday to Sunday? Like, what happens? Oh, what, you want me to? <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, I, I feel no, like no, I'm, ahead, yeah. I'm just taking over Please. the conversation. And, and really, it, it's going to start with the kickoff on Friday evening. Friday evening. It starts about 4 o'clock. The doors will open 4 o'clock. We'll open the, you know, people will start come filling out around 6 o'clock or so. Uh, really, it's the idea is to share your idea mm -hmm. and then um, hopefully, if, you're at, if your idea is worthy and it's interesting, the developers and designers will, will attach themselves to that idea and then really start hacking. There's going to be food. Wow. There's going to be drinking. You know, drinking as well, too. So, you know. <laughs> Soft drinks, of course, right, and anything you want. But uh, and then come back. You, you can go back if you want to stay at some of these places. You could. Um, I know Bubs is opening it over overnight at in the well, Big Island. Sleepover party. Yeah, and then of course all Saturday, all hacking all the way through. We feed you, you know, oh, lunch cow. and dinner, hacking some more, uh, and then come back on Sunday, hack some more and some lunch, and then of course after that, there's going to be um, some refreshments and, and some judging. And really, the judges are going to be from Uber, and they're going to be from Dev League, and some and. Some other um, some other judges as well. Are you going to be a judge? Um, I'll definitely be in attendance. Uh, I, I'm hoping <laughs> to get a little closer to the groups and see what they're really uh, hacking. Yeah. On. What is what is the criteria for judging? Um, I think there'll probably be a few different categories. Like typically, you know, you'll have like most creative or like most like smoothest user interface and, and yeah. different categories like that. Because I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a lot of different aspects mm -hmm. of the like software development process mm -hmm. uh, throughout the hackathon. So you can um, you can get up more information on the categories, the prizes, everything. All a lot of the details are going to be at uberhackathon.devleague.com. So that's again uberhackathon.devleague.com. Very good. So a lot more information there and, and categories. And How prices. much does it cost to apply? Application is free. Just come on out, have fun, and, Yay, and see that, when everybody? it starts, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and you get fed, and it's free? Yeah, I mean, f free pizza? I mean, what beats that? I, mean, I, yeah. I think we can figure out a way to get people home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You'll be out. Catch an Uber. That is awesome. Oh, I wanted to throw a plug out for Uber, too, for our conference. Uber is sponsoring us. We have a special promo code for your first ride free, oh, which is awesome. Try. I haven't rode an Uber yet. Wow. I mean, yes. you got to try. Uber virgin. There's still time. The sun's <laughs> not down. <laughs> That's great. Yes, I will have to try that. But I am so excited for this hackathon. I am looking forward to it. Um, and then do people need to have, like, super fast bandwidth? To do this, like because I know there's going to be a lot of online interaction. So we're taking care of the infrastructure at you know at the Box Jelly has infrastructure for it at the sh at the, um, the shopping good. center in Kauai. We'll also have some bandwidth for that as well <coughs> too. And I know that uh, in in um, Startup Suite Eight and on the Big Island we'll also have um, the connectivity there. And of good. course Maui has the connectivity there inside their state offices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so bandwidth shouldn't be a problem in terms of you know, doing the coding and of course doing live coding TV. That is excellent. I'm so excited. It's going to be really interesting. Yeah, it's statewide. It's Hawaii's first statewide um, hackathon. I know, you know and it's hopefully to, if this brought goes to you well, by Uber we can, and, and Dev League, we can right? do many more. Yeah, very yeah, exciting. Very exciting. Is Uber on all the islands? So uh, currently we're on Oahu and Maui. Uh, so in, in some way, this will be our first introduction to some of the, the neighbor islands. So, yeah, there uh, could be a big need, fun. right? You might... Yeah, I mean, we, we, we find the need re really is, is pretty universal. People need to get a, um, around their islands from point A to point B in a, in a safe manner. Um, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and Russell can tell you it's, 
pretty pretty quickly adapted after after that first try. Yeah, I was yeah. surprised how fast Uber grew. On yeah, I, I had the it's benefit of catching like sixty something rides in San Francisco um, <laughs> in a third, in a very short amount of time, and I'm a, I was a convert. <laughs> I couldn't believe how convenient it was. Holy cow! What are what are the majority of people that take Uber? You know, it, it's it's funny. At this point, we're really covering the entire spectrum of uh, the demographics of anywhere oh, yeah? we are. Um, huh. You know, we we came here at first. I think because a lot of folks from the West Coast were trying to open the app and see if Uber was available in Hawaii. And we said, oh, well, yeah, there's really demand here. But, That's but now it's really local. It's, it's so you all... could actually test. I mean, you could see what yeah. the demand is. Yeah, it's before... really all data driven. So we just kind of react to the market. And, uh, and so we came here a little over two years ago. Uh, it's been growing like crazy since. We actually started at the Box Jelly, one, one of the Dev League uh, locations. Nice. Um, so it's just really it's just two of us back circle. then. And uh, we're trying to give back now to the same folks who helped us. Wow. I'm thinking like one of the demographics would be the older people or people that don't necessarily drive anymore. That yeah, would be a big absolutely. demographic. For yeah, Uber. We, we have uh, actually products tailored to that too. Like, it's called a Uber wow. Assist, where so if someone needs a little extra help getting a walker into the vehicle or something like that, um, there, there are drivers who are, are ready to help with that. That is brilliant. Um, so yeah, that could be to address like a, mobility needs. And it's a whole you know what topic. we need, right? <laughs> you know what we need for our kids, right? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> need Uber something for the kids, right? <laughs> a Uber trusted chauffeur. driver. Right. Uber chauffeur. Right. <laughs> we don't have to drive people, our kids back yeah. and forth. You want to get out of the driving business? Yeah. Get out of the driving <laughs> We're business. We're soccer mom. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are all such good ideas. Hope everybody's listening. <laughs> yeah, come on and build something. Absolutely. All right, and one more time, where can we find more information? You can find more information at uberhackathon.devleague.com. Uber Very good. So it's on our website. Very good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us here. I'm so looking forward to this. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We've been talking to Russell Cheng, co-founder of DevLeague, and Brian Hughes, general manager of Uber, and talking about their hackathon coming up. Check it out. This has been High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki, and we are on Think Tech Hawaii. Thanks. Yay!